Hello my students, our session today is Unit 2, Lesson 5 and 6. Let's start with the revision. Choose. Number 1. When the tide, sand storm, summit, oasis, comes in, the sea covers the beach. The answer will be, when the tide comes in, the sea covers the beach. Number 2. Although we were thirsty, we decided to wait before continuing to the wave, oasis, summit range the answer will be oasis although we were thirsty we decided to wait before continuing to the oasis number three you can find the Pyrenees tide range chain dune mountain by following the map the answer will be you can find the Pyrenees range number four why did he want to explore invent invite Implore the Sahara Desert. The answer will be, why did he want to explore the Sahara Desert? Now, let's turn to the grammar for this lesson. Our grammar today is about past habits and situations. Number one, using the past symbol. We use the past symbol to talk about repeated or frequent past habits and actions. And we often use an adverb of frequency, such as always, often, every day, with these sentences. For example, my mom walked to school every day when she was a child. Number two, using used to. We use used to to talk about permanent situations in the past. For example, we used to have a summer house on the coast. And also to talk about habits in the past. For example, I used to play for the school team on Saturday mornings. And also to talk about states in the past. For example, my sister used to be a teacher. And when we use used to in the interrogative and negative forms, we drop the final D. For example, I didn't use to like studying English, but I love it now. And in the question, did you use to have a mountain bike? Number three, using wood. We use wood to talk about habits in the past. We often use wood to talk about a number of related habits. For example, at weekends, my dad would go and buy newspaper and he would also buy me a comic. Then we would sit and read together before lunch. And we use verb to be plus used to plus verb ing for situations that we were familiar with or that we are now familiar with. For example, after six months in Dublin, I was used to living in a wet country. We have lived in Spain for five years and now we are used to eating dinner at 10 p.m. Let's answer these questions. Number one, she used to ride a bike when she was six. Use not. The answer will be she didn't use to ride a bike when she was six. Number two, they used to live in a big house. Use where? The answer will be, where did they use to live? Number three, when she was 10, she always walked to school. The answer will be, when she was 10, she used to walk to school. Number four, I don't like living in hot countries, but now I got accustomed to it. Use am used to. The answer will be I am used to living in hot countries. And we said before that verb to be plus used to should be followed by verb ing. Number five, it was his habit to give advice to everyone. Use would. The answer will be he would give advice to everyone. Number six, he would have a motorbike when he was 11. Correct, would. 
The answer will be he used to have a motorbike when he was 11. And we have some new words in this unit. Number one, backpack. It's a noun and it means a rucksack. For example, he was wearing a heavy backpack. Number two, sleeping bag. It's a noun and it means a thick warm bag that you use for sleeping in. For example, when you are camping. Number three, compass. It's a noun and it's an instrument for finding directions. Camping stove. It's a noun and it means a piece of equipment for cooking food. Battle. It's a noun and it means a short white pole with a flat white bar at one or both ends that you hold in both hands and use for moving a small boat. And the last one, third tree. It's a noun and it means a land that's under a control of a country or a ruler. For example, the writer is back on home territory with his latest novels. And now let's answer these questions. Choose the correct answer. Number one, during safari, you should have a compass, kite, kayak, iceberg. The answer will be during safari, you should have a compass. Number two, to sleep safely in the forest, you should have a first aid kit, flask, sleeping bag, or camping stove. The answer will be to sleep safely in the forest, you should have a sleeping bag. Number three, my tent, compass, Backpack matches usually carries all my things during safari. The answer will be my backpack. And thanks a lot.